OK, race 36, the Racing UK maiden stakes over one mile, th three furlongs. So Autumn 1, Autumn Sun, Alex Jerry is number one from downtown for Obi-Wan, Mill Viking, Darren Howe, Sweetness, Joshua Sutherland, Ambrose Girl and Girl V for Doug Warren, Hollywood Running for Del Hinton, the Chingford Scouse for Martin Leadham, Highland Forest from Jim Murray, Northern Cave, Obi-Wan, Send It Django, Blue Earth for Darren Thompson, Midnight Beyond the, not sure, from Molly at Surfer, Red Kite, Carl Arroganti and Riot Lifes for David Robertson, make up 15. They're already in the gates. You can't quite see them. There they are. Flags are raised and they're away. So go through the first half furlong. That's Hollywood rolling and send it leading us. In between those from downtown. And it's from downtown that's going to take it up. Leads through the first couple of furlongs from Hollywood rolling against the fence. And now Hollywood rolling's taking it up. And Hollywood rolling for Mr. Hollywood himself. Del Hinton gets a three length advantage from the grey sticking his nose out in the pack now Mule Viking. The one outside is Ambrose Girl from Doug Warren's extensively large flat stable. But it's Hollywood rolling that leads us by about four to Northern Cave. Ambrose Girl from downtown Mill Viking the grey. Then we've got Sweetness, sort of mid-pack. Another yellow against the fences, Northern Cave. They're followed through by Blue Earth, Girl V. Island Forest is there, Midnight Beyond the Pine, maybe. Autumn Sun, Chingford Scouser, Girl 5, and Riot's Life just at the rear. So back up front, though. Hollywood rolling, Mill Viking. They're the one and two. Northern Cave against the fences, three. Ambrose Girl is four. The rest of the pack are pretty much together. Moving well on the outside now is at Midnight Beyond the Pine. Maybe Pie. Pinto. Anyway, it's Hollywood rolling. Being challenged now a little bit by Mill Viking. We've got five furlongs still to run. It's Hollywood rolling from Mill Viking. The one sweeping out of the pack now is Sweetness. Takes up second on his own. Moving well now and moved out from the rear is Riot Life's well out wide. Send it also starts to head for home. And they're going to come and challenge uh, Dell's Hollywood rolling now. There's three and a half furlongs left to run. There's still Hollywood rolling from Send it and Riot's Life out wide. Followed through by from downtown Sweetness. The grey Mill Viking seems to be going back. Backwards. Jim Morgan's Highland Forest makes a move, but it's Hollywood rolling still inside the two and a half, and he's still leading here by a good couple of lengths from Send It and Riot's Life. Sweetness and Highland Forest have got to get a wiggle on now, but it's Hollywood rolling still leads by four to Riot's Life and Send It up the hill here with a furlong and a half to go, and here they come. It's Hollywood rolling, but Riot's Life and Send It inside the final furlong. Sweetness between them. Highland Forest out widest of all, but it's Send It and Riot Life. Riot's Life that takes it up. Send It's just holding on by a nose here. Sweetness is trying to make up a bit of ground, but send it's going to take that for Django from Riot's life for David Robertson in second. I think Sweetness hung on for third. So, as you'd expect, top trainers taking the maiden and it's send it. Unless that's an Obi One horse, I'm always confused on the yellows. Could it be an Obi One horse? The black sash. No, it is Django. Send it for Django. So uh, Obi Wan was the other one without the black sash. So it send it for Django that takes it. Riot's life for David Robertson was second. Sweetness of Joshua Sutherland was third. Blue Earth for Darren Thompson ran on well for fourth. And Midnight Beyond the Pines for Molly at Surfer was fifth. I almost got that right.